Bom dia, boa tarde, boa noite, or whatever the case may be. My name is Marcus, and I am the host of the Black Brazil Today YouTube channel, as well as the BlackBrazilToday.com blog, where I analyze Brazil from the perspective of race. So by now, depending on where you live, you're probably already into 2024. So let me say welcome to 2024. You know, it was a, you know, it, I have to say it was a quick year again. But again, like I said a few days ago, um, it didn't really strike me how quick the year had gone by until I realized that uh, the great Pele had died about a year ago around this time on December 29th of 2022. And that's when I realized, wow, the year did seem to go by quick. Funny how, the, you know, it, I, I measured how quick the year went by by just, you know, closing out the year with the loss of uh, one of the greatest uh, athletic legends in the world. But as we bring in 2024, I want to just discuss the way that Brazilians go out of the, you know, the previous year and bring in the new year. So I'm asking, why do Brazilians wear white clothes on New Year's Eve? If if anybody has been in Brazil during New Year's Eve or if you've seen images, videos or photos of Brazilians as they bring in the new year, you see a lot of people wearing white clothing like on a beach. Like, why is that? Intriguing some of the answers that you'll find uh, when you look for the answer for this question. Now, this is a topic that I've approached before in a previous post, but this is a, a, a whole different piece that I put together today. And uh, it comes courtesy of the uh, Boneca Preta Instagram page. I like the way they, they set their page up. They tell stories about, you know, black people. And usually the opening page shows a, uh, you know, a black dial. <laughs> and then they go on and tell something historical, cultural about Afro-Brazilians, right? Or customs or you know, history or whatever it might be. So let's get into this because this is an intriguing topic for me, you know, as I spent, what, eight, nine New Year's in Brazil. I think uh, it would probably be 10 because I, I did spend New Year's Eve in uh, Sao Paulo one particular year uh, when I wasn't living there yet. So this is something I'm really familiar with as I, I've spent time bringing in the New Year on the beach. So let's check this out. Typical photo of what you'll see Brazilians on the beach bringing in the new year fireworks, just like you'll see in many other countries around the world. Again, today's uh, uh, video, the information comes courtesy of the Boneca Preta IG page. As I said, they like to use black dials before they get into the story that they're going to tell for, you know, whatever post that they're making. So this is taken from that page. So it says New Year's Eve is for many an opportunity for change. It's a moment of reflection on the choices of the past and those that will be made for the future. In Brazil, we are taught since childhood that during the turn of the new year, we need to wear a white outfit to symbolize peace during the new year that is about to come. From north to south of the country, we can find thousands of people gathered with their friends and family where most will be wearing light colored clothes. But where did this tradition come from? History says that this custom originates from African-oriented religions, such as Candomblé and Umbanda. These are two religions that, uh, you know, Brazilians are very much familiar with. Many Brazilians protect, uh, participate in these religions. One of them is considered a direct African religion, whereas the other is more of a mix of various sources, including African. Um, so... Or, you know, the, the idea of wearing white clothes comes from these African religious religions, such as Candomblé Umbanda, arising due to the cult of Iamanja. That is the image in this photo. Uh, it comes out of Nigerian and Yoruba mythology. Um, and you'll find your, uh, the Iamanja and the Orishas throughout Latin America, you know, the, uh, the mythology behind it. And in the mid 1970s, practitioners of these religions went to the beaches to honor Iamanja dressed in white to make the offerings. And the act attracted a lot of attention. Over time, the tribute became more and more famous and attractive fans. OK. The use of the color white became popular. And over the years, a religious meaning was forgotten and came to be remembered only for its symbolism and peace or symbolism of peace. Part of the population doesn't wear uh, the color for religious purposes, but because they believe in the representation of prosperity, peace, and good energies for the new cycle that is about to begin. So you'll see people in Umbanda or Candomblé. You see them traditionally dressed in their white white gear. You know, another ritual here. 
It is very cultural, especially of the Brazilian during the festivities to always wear new clothes, motivating commerce. The new clothes and colors have to do with the spirituality of the parties. In other countries, it's not like in Brazil to wear white on New Year's Eve. Okay, clearly it's a superstition. The Brazilian has a lot of sympathy and New Year New Year sympathies are very popular. White is attributed to positivity and purity, while yellow is attributed to gold and abundance. Red has a more vivid and more centered energy and love and passion in the strongest things. Blue is about uh, blue is attributing serenity. Green is hope and calmness. These attributions are something cultural of the Brazilian. OK, a lot of fireworks go on during what they call what Americans call New Year's Eve. They call it they call it heavy long in Brazil. The traditional skipping of the seven waves at the turn of the year, making seven different requests is also linked to Umbanda and the cult of Iamanja. Seven is a Kabbalistic number, which in Umbanda represents Eshu, the son of Iamanja. It is also related to the seven lines of Ubanda, a concept of organization of spirits under the command of an Odisha. Again, this is what the Nigerian, the people of the Yoruba faith and uh, ethnic group, what they call the Odisha, what they, these are African deities. Each jump in this case would be the request to a different Odisha. If you stop to think about some superstition, you will remember that you learned about it from your mother, that you possibly learned from your grandmother and so on. Like eating poultry, the main course should be pork or fish. These animals walk forward, symbolizing progress in life. Chicken or turkey, on the other hand, should be avoided as the birds scratch backwards, which indicates a delay. Each custom derives from a different culture and is thus a result of the practices and beliefs of each people. For example, the consumption of lentils during New Year's Eve dinner was brought by Italian immigrants when they migrated to Brazil. What matters is that you put it into practice, wishing for a successful new year. OK, so look at this photo here. I'm going to talk a little bit about what each one means on New Year's Eve, uh, according to some of the beliefs in Brazil. Lentils. One tablespoon is enough to ensure a whole year's worth of food on the table. The origin of this superstition is Italian and was brought to Brazil by immigrants. Pomegranates to attract money, eat seven pieces, keeping the seeds in your wallet. Grapes. For the Portuguese, eating three, seven or the amount corresponding to their lucky number guarantees prosperity and plenty of food. To also guarantee money, keep the seeds in your wallet or purse until the New Year's exchange. N wearing new panties or underwear, as we see here, they are lucky in love because they leave misunderstandings behind. They are mainly recommended for those who are starting to date to ensure the future. White, uh, white clothing, as I already mentioned previously, it is a relatively recent habit brought to Brazil with the popularization of African religions. White represents light, purity and goodness. A bill of money inside the shoe, which you see right here, 50, a note of 50 reais. Asians say that energy enters through our, through our body, through our feet. So the money in the shoe attracts more and more riches. Throw coins, as we see here. From the street into the house, if you live on the ground floor, please. They say it attracts wealth to everyone who lives in the place. Then you have new bed sheets. The tip is special for newlyweds. It is said that the new sheets on the first night of the year leave the possible threats of last year in the washing machine. So this breakdown here comes from the journal U Combatenci uh, website. And as I said, the first part of this uh, video is courtesy of Boneca Preta on their Instagram page. Now, the last thing I want to talk about before I, I leave this here is the fact that um, I find it intriguing that African or, or oriented religions in Brazil are so demonized. You know, they had to create a whole day, the day uh, to fight religious intolerance because of how the Candomblé and Ubanda and the people who follow these religions are often demonized. They're said a lot of people believe that they're worshiping the devil. You know, this is witchcraft. You see re cases of religious intolerance all over the country every day. OK. Um, let me see. T this right here, there was a, I mean, you see this all the time. Woman attacks a statue devoted to the African deity of the, of the sea, Yamanja. She took a hammer and started just like smashing up this black statue representing Yamanja. Um, what else do we have here? 
Okay, so these are just some of my comparisons between uh, the Candomblé religion and the, the similarities of the Odishas or deities with what you find in Greek mythology and the connection to uh, Catholic saints. Really intriguing when you look into it, the influence of Afro-Brazilian religions on the festivities. Let me see what else we have here. Um, this is Iamanja, the goddess, uh, the, the goddess of the sea. Um, originally, Iamanja is the deity of a tributary of the Ogun River, which is, which is born in the state of Oyo in Nigeria. Later, she became the Odisha of that river, being the object of worship of all the Yoruba. According to the sociologist Heginaldo Pranji, author of the book Segredos Guardados, Iamanja is an Odisha who gained power over time, even before arriving in Brazil. Here she became a saltwater divinity. She is the queen of the sea, a protective mother of fishermen, revered not only by Fidios de Santos, people who are, you know, follow that religion, being perhaps the most popular Odisha of the entire Af African pantheon. In Nago, her name, Yeye Omo Ija, means mother of the fish. Okay, a little bit about Yemanja. And as I was talking about religious intolerance, I find it intriguing that the ritual of wearing white clothing comes out of these African oriented religions and people will use that and, you know, strip it of its religious meaning, but still use it, you know, appropriate something that came out of these religions that they demonize, you know, and then you see people getting attacked. You see, there's been cases of people being killed for practicing re these religions, religious intolerance leads to the death of a 90 year old priestess and stoning in the head of an 11 year old girl. Okay. It's not religious racism. It's indeed, it's not religious intolerance. It is indeed racism. Okay. Um, what else? They kill in the name of Jesus. Followers of Candomblé religion detail threats by Protestants and dope dealers for Jesus. Then you have Candomblé resistance and recognition of Afro-Brazilian cuisine. All of this stuff is like connected. You know, the, the food that comes out of um, these African oriented religions has, has led to you know, a cu cuisine in Brazil that everybody has to try if you ever visit Brazil, you know, when you're on vacation or just visiting or whatever, you definitely have to try some of the food and know some of this has a connection to African oriented religions. The the demolition of a Candomblé temple in Brasilia and religious freedom. Um, on and on, you know, in the state of Bahia, cases of intolerance against Afro-Brazilian religions have increased 2,250%. Latest is attack on monuments symbolizing symbolizing black resistance to slavery a religion of resistance so this this is what kind of you know doesn't sit well with me you know you bring in the new year and the influence of wearing white comes out of these religions that brazil consistently does not tolerate in fact violates you know they destroy houses of worship of people who follow these religions but yet it ends up in the ritual of mo a lot of Brazilians who bring in the new year wearing white clothing. Anyway, um, want to know what you thought about today's video. Drop a comment in the comment section. Um, definitely like this video, share this video, consider subscribing to the channel, click on the notification bell. Uh, so you'll be one of the first people to see my new videos when I post them. Consider dropping a, you know, maybe dropping a couple of dollars in my cash app if you, as you see posted there. Um, or, you know, if, if, you find videos here that you like, definitely consider dropping a super thanks. Again, I want to uh, wish you all a happy, you know, prosperous 2024. Hope you all made it into the new year. And with that said, i um, going to end this video here. Um, again, wishing you all a, a pleasant 2024, prosperous 20, and a happy, healthy 2024. And I'm going to invite you to come out and check out the next video that I post.